Alrighty, what is going on guys and welcome back to Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, gonna do one of the biggest shot openings your boys ever done. Oh, it's gonna be big. 350 ancient shards. I've never opened this many shards before. And we've got a two times chance for the bad Kazar, and I really want him. Looks so bad. He's gonna make all of my teams better on everything. So I really want him. Um, sorry for the squeaky chair. I'm trying to adjust. So it's a two times chance for legendaries and a 10x for him. Um, and if we come down here to the shop very quick, uh, it's currently the 24th on my phone. Friday the 24th. Um, so there's a Christmas gift. Uh, we've got six full energies, one sacred, one XP boost, two. So 100 multi battles and 650k. Thanks, Raid. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Yoink. Um, this will probably get uploaded on Boxing Day. So it's Christmas tomorrow. It's Friday. It's Christmas tomorrow on Saturday. So hope you had a good Christmas. If you did your pulls, um, I've been saving all my shards since the last opening and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to this like I said we've got 350 oh, this is going to be a long video so without further ado let's uh, actually hang on no 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 so my most wanted where is he I'd like a Cupidus he's not my most wanted but I like him and I want a rush card as well but you know that is what it is uh, are you in here yeah Septimus I'd love a Septimus. I'd love a Iron Brago. Um, are you one of these? Iron Brago. Ghostborn. Um, anybody else? Tomb Lord. Calvalax is like one of my most wanted legendaries. I'd love him. Um. Sandra, she'd be amazing. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, no, I think that's it. We don't make wish lists. I'll take a Draco as well, obviously. It's all good, so let's uh, let's go into the shards. Come on. <clears throat> I don't know if there's any epics I'm after. That's not a good start, is it? That's a terrible start. Yeah, I don't know if there's any epics I'm really after. Um, I did actually manage to pull a bad Elkazar on my second account. So I've got four accounts I play read on. Um, <laughs> I did pull bad... Oh! Okay, we've got a Foley. Interesting. I didn't have him, so I'll take it. I could... I think a lot of people build him to be like an all-out destroyer, so... He looks fucking sick. Look at that armor. What do we got? We've got a one enemy four times. 20% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense. Four time here. Four times at random, each hit places a leech. Attacks all enemies, decreases turn meter, then attacks the targeted enemy. Enemies killed by the skill cannot be revived. Whenever this, whenever an enemy places a stun free sleep provoke, it instantly removes that buff heals by 20% and boosts their turn meter. Hmm. Okay, I'll take it. Dark Elf. I'll take that. I'm a... Uh... One down. You'll have to see it. Okay, what I was saying before was I got a uh, bad L on my second account. So, you know, he's kind of just automatically boosted all my teams up sevenfold. And I haven't even six starred him yet. Foley I didn't have. I'm going to try and maybe look up some builds on him. I think you need to build him in Savage. I think. Grush I'm yet to build. Um, I want to wait till I can get him on one of my other accounts and then make him uh, a 6 star because a lot of people say good things about him. So He's got the Leech. Decrease attack and crit damage. Continuous heal. My TV's still on apparently. Oh it's not. Oh that's okay. That's TV. And defensive faction crypts. Yeah, he's okay. Um, I don't think I'd use him personally, but he's good. Another Grimskin. Another legendary. Bad L. 
Okay. I think you're new. I think you're new. Fucking hell, two in a row. God, you look sick. What is this armor? You look like you have Avatar. The blue and the gold looks good. Attacks one enemy, 30% chance of placing freeze. Also applies a debuff spread. Taking one random debuff and placing it on all enemies under freeze. Okay. Attacks all enemies, places a weakened debuff. Also steals one buff from enemies under freeze. Places a block debuffs on all allies. Also has a 6% chance of placing freeze on all enemies. This champion's skills cannot be put on cooldown whenever this an enemy tries to put this on. Places a freeze on that enemy. So she's all about freeze. She looks fucking sick. Holy shit. How'd you even say that? Glissier Soul Guide. Oh, that was easier than I thought it would be. Well, we're two for uh, two for two so far. I'll take that. I wasn't expecting that. It's a 10x for Badel, so I'll be honest. I was kind of hoping that would be who came out, but it's all good. It's all good. Oh, you're new, ain't you? Urtikata attacks one enemy two times. 30% chance of placing. Oh, each hit has a chance of increasing the duration of poison. Attacks one enemy three times, each has a place a chance of placing poison sensitivity. Attacks four times at random, each hit places a hex. Whenever it is champion or ally lands a crit here on enemy under hex, there's a 10% chance of placing 5% poison. And they're really trying to push hex, aren't they? Like super badly. We can all see that. We don't want hex. I don't want hex, I can't be asked to learn more in the game. Phylesia. Jingle Hunter, Karam, Thylesia, don't I? You're meant to be good for something. Increases the duration of all debuffs. Decrease defense. Enemies, when attacking enemies under decreased defense has a chance of placing Hex. More Hex! Hex for everyone! Jingle Hunter, he's a speed guy, does the freeze. Don't know if he's too good. Karam is the poison explodey guy. He's meant to be okay. I did watch a video on him. Maybe. Maybe we'll see. Come on, bad El Septimus. Come on. Yes. Norog. Oh, no, it's okay. We'll just completely skip the 10x, shall we? We're getting three, though. I'm not complaining. Norog, big fat pig. Well, you can get some gammon off him, can you? I've got gammon for Christmas dinner. Ooh. More attacks. One enemy has a 60% chance of placing a block active skills. <clears throat> attacks all enemies, places block buffs. Immune to stun free sleep. Decreases damage taken by all allies that are under one or more buffs by 15%. Decreases the damage taken by all allies that are under no buffs. Ally defense in dungeons by 40%. Oh, wow. I wonder if you could use him as like a defense attack team, maybe. It's interesting. Block buffs. I don't know how that would be really good against maybe Siffy teams. But then you'd have to really like juice his accuracy up. Is it damage based on defense? It is. Ooh. We'll see. We're in Geary. I've seen you spoken about a bit. Stun attacks all enemies. Place places stun. Places strengthen. Also places shield. Okay, he was a champion, but whenever an ally or enemy dies, resist in all battles. Meh. Just meh. Come on, Bad L or Septimus. Come on in, Broodlord. Oh, Venom Age. Yes. There was the epic I was thinking of. <laughs> because of this. Let's go! <laughs> I know I get more excited about the epics. I know it's sad. Oh, it's Midget Lord. Let's go. Wait, I'm all over the place. Let's just go in order. One enemy two times places provoke if it's under decreased speed. Ally protection and block debuffs on that ally. Places a shield buff on this champion. Meh. Attacks all enemies 40% chance of placing a stun. Meh. Defense in all battles by 25%. Okay, looks good. Better mage is the one I was after though. 
Attacks one enemy two times, decreases the target's max HP by 75%. Each hit has a chance of activating two poison debuffs. You're going straight into the clan boss. Attacks one enemy, decreased defense, has a 75% chance of placing a 50% decrease attack. Attacks all enemies, places heal reduction, placing two poison debuffs. Enemies under heal reduction inflict 15% less damage. I don't know what people have to say about you. I wonder. And Verges. I like Verges. Um, I haven't really found a good use for him other than faction crypts at the minute. Uh, not counting like the Doom Tower stuff because I personally don't care for Doom Tower. It's boring. And I keep getting stuck on the Bobble guy and it really pisses me off. And it just makes me not want to do Doom Tower. Because it's like, what's the point? Because I'm only going to get as far as him and I can't get any further because of his bullshit bombs. Anyways. Attacks one enemy, places reflect damage on a random ally. Continuous heal, increased speed, reflect damage on an ally. Places ally protection on all allies except him. Places increased defense on this champion. With a really good defense aura. He's really good. He's really, really good. On to the next. It's blues, it's good. It's fine. It's fine. Jack's screaming like a little bitch. We've run out of space. I'm going to make some space. We'll be right back. 240. Oh, we're going to be here all year. Right, we're back. We've bought some slots. We've made loads of five stars. Ready for all my food. For all my new legendaries I'm about to get. Let's crack on. We've gotten three so far. And Venomage. Oh, shit. Did I just... No, I didn't just get rid of her. No, I couldn't have. She just got locked. It's all right then. Ugo. No, you go. Haha. <laughs> fat grin the fat. You go. Like, everybody raves on about her, but I just... I need to max her out and actually try her. Because everybody says good things, and I don't see it personally. But I also haven't used her. So, take that as, like, just me looking at what she does. Like, leech. It's great. Decrease defense and block buffs. Okay. Heals all items by 20% of this champion's max HP. Increase speed and block damage on this champion for one turn whenever the, when this when this is the last living. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, no, I see it. I lied. I see it. Place your shield buff on all allies by... Okay. Increase speed and accuracy buff. Heals the ally with the lowest HP at the start of this champion's turn. Meh. Crit damage. Crit chance. Ally attack. That's all you need to know. Factor in the flub. Wobble wobble. Uh, yeah, let's crack on. I want to get Ugo on my second account and like build her out properly. Ice Crusher. We're not talking about him. He's fucking useless. Torch Helm. I need him actually. I need him for the Razin uh, fusion. Legendary. Bad L. Oh, we get the new fusion. Nice! Christmas fusion! This guy looks fucking sick! It's a fucking ice wing lion thing with a tail. Ooh. Attacks one enemy. Decrease accuracy. Based on defense. Block de debuffs and increase defense on all allies for two turns. If that had a bit of a turn meter feel, it'd be like. But you know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's all good, it's fine. I'm just saying. Attacks all enemies, places a perfect veil buff on all allies except this champion for two turns. Also places a shield buff on this champion for two turns equal to 20% of the damage inflicted. When attacked, reflects 30% of the damage this champion received back to the attacker. Also has a 30% chance of placing freeze. Defense in Doom Tower battles by 35%. Interesting. Uh, I don't know. Defense based is a great start. I love defense champions in this game. I mean, for me, whenever I can build like stuff up between defense and HP, I always tend to go HP because I like having more health than defense. But in this game, certain champions obviously benefit so much more from defense. And obviously, if they're defense based, you're going to build them in defense. So they're taking more damage, they're dealing more damage all around. It's good. I like this ability three turn cooldown, block debuffs, and increase defense. Perfect Veil on everyone. Uh, I think Perfect Veil decreases to AoE damage 
by something amount. I'm pretty sure. Um, decrease accuracy is a good and uh, reflect damage. It's good. I'll take it. That is our fourth one so far and we're only like a hundred and something in. I need to take my hoodie off because I'm sweating. Jizzo. Food. Bushy. Also food. They're fucking useless. That's better. I'm sweating. Nothing. Is this guy new? Ordinator. It's a dark elf. Place one enemy places freeze. Attacks all enemies. Has a 50% chance of placing a bomb. When attacked, has a 30% chance of decreasing all bomb stuff. Wow. That's great. <laughs> Come on, bad elf. Or a Septimus. Come on. You know who you are. Valor. No thanks. Yeah, Geomancer. I need to max him out. He's my next six star for sure. If I don't get um, anybody, obviously, of note. I think out of all the legendaries so far, I still think Geomancer is who I'm going to max out next. Attacks all enemies, places decreased accuracy on everybody. Removes all buffs from a target enemy, then attacks. Steals all buffs if a target's under HP burned. Reduces the cooldown of, I think it's this. <coughs> Fully depletes the target's turn meter, fills this champion turn's meter by the amount the target loses. Has a 75% chance of placing HP burn and a weaken. And then decreases all the damage. No, decreases the damage all allies receive. Can you imagine? Decreases all the damage. Nah. Decreases the damage all allies receive by 15% and deflects that damage back onto enemies under HP. Whenever this champion is attacked, deflects 30% of the damage instead. And HP in all battles by 25%. So I need to watch a more in-depth thing for someone to explain to me why he's so good. Like, believe I, I don't know the ins and in workings. Like, I'm, I'm an idiot when it comes to stuff like that. So go easy on me. But if they're under HP, he deflects damage. That's what I'm getting by this. And obviously, if you pair him with a HP guy, he's going to do a lot of damage. I know there was, wasn't there like a glitch? Oh, shit, I should have looked at Gory. I didn't see him. Um... There was a glitch one there where he was like doing stupid amounts of damage to someone. Or something like that. Castigator looks interesting. Uh, I managed to pull him on my other account as well and had a quick nosy. And uh, text one enemy has a 40% chance of placing provoke. Heals the ally with the lowest HP by 20% of this champion's max HP. Then equalizes the HP levels of all allies. Grants an extra turn. Less damage received by enemies under provoke. He's nothing special. But he's a good healer for like you know early game. I would uh, I'd use him on a new account. I'd give him a, I'd give him a go. Or Tatsu, Aox the Rememberer, Catacomb Counselor, Sepulcher Sentinel. We're getting all them purples. Or Tatsu. Actually, someone I might have to build for Shadowkin. Attacks all enemies. Places decrease attack, increase defense, and continuous heal. Remove one random debuff from this champion at the start of their turn. Won't remove, stun, sleep, fear, true fear, fear, provoke, petrification. Before other debuffs. Ally defense in all battles by 25%. Attach one enemy places leech. He's good. Aox. Tax one enemy heals all allies by 10% of their max HP. Heals an extra 2.5 for each debuff. Decrease attack. Decrease grip rate. Turn meter stuff. Decreasing stuff and stuff. Catacomb Counselor, Ally Attack. He's not too good though. Well, he's good. Ally Attack's obviously great, but he's not uh, He's not factor in the fat. Let's put it that way. Um, attacks one of me three times. That that actually, from what I can remember, I haven't built on another account. Hits quite hard. I say I haven't built. I have him at 50. And he was okay. Sepulcher Sentinel, increased defense and block debuffs. Completely blocking incoming damage. At a... 50% chance. Defense in all battles. Decrease attack. She's insane. She's not insane. She's really good. I've got her. I just don't have her maxed. Because my block debuffs is Siffy. Battle. Hig Sigmund the High Shield. We're just getting everyone else, aren't we? Yeah? Attacks one enemy. Removes any shield buffs. Also has a 50% chance of removing one random buff. 
has a 75% when attacking. Oh, that shield looks sick. What is this? Your big pokey stick. Holy shit. Attacks all enemies two times. Oh my god, I thought that said Battlefield Bacon then. That was distracting. Battlefield Bacon. Battlefield Beacon. That's going to be Battlefield Bacon from now on. Attacks all enemies two times. Each hit has a 50% chance of placing Provoke and a 75% chance of placing Decrease Attack. Places a shield buff on all allies equal to 30% of this champion's max HP. Also places a 25% strengthen on all allies. No, we don't want to fucking update Samsung. Stop it. That sounds really good. This guy might be really good, actually. Ally defense. 40% in Doom Tower. Okay, I need good Doom Tower leaders. I think that's where I struggle the most. Whenever this champion is attacked, has a 20% chance of decreasing the duration of all buffs on the attacker by one turn. Has a 40% instead when be attacked by a boss. Maybe I'm reading wrong, but he sounds pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. I like that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> is that five now? Five yellows, and we've still not got the 10x. Surely that's harder to do. Surely that's harder to do. Chancellor Yasmin. Removing all buffs from enemies. I think that's what I remember her for. But I have my damn, so... You know, is she really going to be used? Probably not. Aothar. Man, I wish I could get him on my other account. I really do. I love Aothar. He's so underrated. He really is. And everybody I know goes, he's not that good. Four or five poisons. Four or five percent poisons. Clan boss, done. See ya. Next. And now you can block stuff, so you just literally go into this. Like, don't block active, you know, block active skills, don't work on clan boss. Ally attack in all battles by 21%. Poisons, two time here. Insane. I want, I've, I've never pulled him on another account, and I really want to. Bathus Drow Lord, Spider. Adele. Crypt King Growl, or is it Growl? I think you're good if I remember. What the fuck? <laughs> Alrighty, attacks one enemy, has a 60% chance of placing decrease attack, has a 100% chance if a target is under HP burn or a freeze. Attacks all enemies, has a chance of placing HP burn. Attacks all enemies, places a freeze debuff on each target for one turn if they're under HP burn. Also extends the duration of any HP burn debuffs to three turns. This extension cannot be resisted. Pair him with Geomancer. HP in all battles by 30%. I know who I'm six star. I've got so much to do. Oh, I don't like this, but I do. Let's go. Crypt King at Growl. So I got my HP Spider team then, and I I'm going to use him with Geomancer. Holy shit! <laughs> Attacks one enemy places decreased attack. Attacks all enemies minus uh, decreased crit rate. Attacks one enemy places provoke. The shields look cool. I just wish you were like tank based. I've seen some people talk about you, haven't I? Sixty percent chance of placing decreased defense and a weaken. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Decrease attack. Decreases duration of all buffs. Yeah, you're not atrocious. <laughs> I can't believe what's going on. I mean, I had a lot of shards, I know. Oh! Eleanor real! Another not bad L. <laughs> Let's go! I have her on my other account. Attacks one enemy, places HP burn. He can go with my... Crypt King Growl Geomancer team can't say, oh, well, that's pretty interesting. Attacks all enemies, places poison for two turns. Places a second poison if the attack is critical. Deals damage from all poison debuffs instantly. I don't know if I'd use her in the clan boss because I have Venomage and I don't know if Venomage is better. I'm not sure. Creating faction crypts, yeah. Oh, we need to make space. We'll be back uh, in a second. Alrighty, here we go. The last 90. Just to clarify, it does say 10x from Ancient. Bad L. We've currently uh, not gotten Bad L. Um, but we have gotten 7 Legendaries. So, 
you know, can we be mad? No, no we cannot, absolutely not. Today is a win. Happy Christmas. All you cunts. Come on. Cornelia. She's relatively new. Flesh Terror. Oh, Magnar. He's good. I forgot about him. You're like the the one everybody compares to... Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, her. Hmm. Chunder. Hmm. I might have to max you out now. Attacks one enemy places decreased defense. 100% if they have HP burn. Attacks all enemies places an extra hit on enemies without HP burn. Ah, so you build him with no accuracy, so you get the two hits. Head it's the Tronda thing. Ah, I see. This champion heals by 1%. Anyone in the battle takes damage from HP burn. Defense in two Doom Tower battles by 30. Hmm. <coughs> and aren't you the one that like sleeps and heals? Yeah, okay. Okay. God, today's been fucking great. What a day. Holy shit, let's go. Nope. Vogoth, somebody I want to max on my other account because I feel like I'll get way more use out of him, but he really pisses me off in the arena because of his passive. Places a leech. Anytime he gets hit, he heals allies, and he has a fucking AoE, so all my fucking Valkyrie counterattacks hit him. Pisses me off. Stop it. Another Balthus Drow Lord. Come on, Bad L. Come on, Septimus. Come on, Draco. Royal Guard. Love a Royal Guard. That's my third one, I believe. Should I build three? <laughs> Siege Hulk. Place an increased attack on this champion and attacks all enemies. Ah, I'm not interested then. Place an increased crit rate and crit damage on this champion. No, nope, not interested. Royal Guard, take down. Enemy max HP. That's all you need to know. Spider, see ya. Battle, battle. Helior. Okay, Helior. You're relatively new in the grand scheme of things. You have another cool shield with a nice hot pokey stick with loads of ends. Which end are you supposed to poke with? That's just confusing. God, my phone's getting so hot. <laughs> Tax one enemy. Increases the champion's defense by 5% if it's critical, stacking up to 20%. We'll also heal this champion by 20% after their defense. Uh, heals this champion by 75% of their defense after attacking if the defense has already been increased. That sounds pretty cool. Attacks all enemies, places a shield on all allies for two turns equal to 20% of the damage based on defense. Transfers all debuffs from all allies to a target enemy, then attacks that enemy. Converts this champion's resistance into additional accuracy. Whenever an ally has two or more debuffs, it's attacked. This champion will absorb 30% of the damage. Resisting all battles by 60. Is he good? That sounds pretty good. And I'm not sure. That sounds interesting. But that's legendary number 8. We get a Taurus. We get a Stagnite. We get an Infernal Baroness. We get a Fenchy. Stagnite's insane. I'd love to give him to my other account. I know I've said that quite often. I'm actually glad I got you because you're a poison guy. And a lot of people are using this somewhere. Fenchy. I think a lot of people were using for Clan Boss. But it turned out he wasn't that good. Something like that. But it looks cool. Ninjas. Very interesting. Please let me trade that Stagnite. Ah, oh, no, I can't. Come on! Battle! Let's go! We got him! Legendary number... What's that? 9 or 10 on the last temple. Oh! Thank you, game. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> but he's such a beast. And he so looks cool as well. Is this just meant to be a horse? No, it's a guy. Well, it looks like a horse. Well, it's definitely a human skull. Anyways. <laughs> Attacks all enemies, heals this champion and all allies by 20% of the damage inflicted. Removes all debuffs from all allies, places two. 15% continuous heal. Buffs on all allies for two turns, places two poison debuffs. Allies inflict 20% more damage against enemies under poison. Crit rate in all battles by 25%. I can make him my dragon dungeon lead and put crit 
gaunt uh, crit damage gauntlets on everybody now. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> oh, we got ten more, but we've got no space. Oh shit! I thought that was the last one, and that would have been like fate. Where are you, bad elf? We're gonna make some space. Nom 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 nom. Damn it! Well, we got ten more. Can we be greedy? I mean, we can be. Should we? No, we shouldn't really. But like, if you can give me a Septimus now, I'll like cream. But I'm not expecting it. I can't believe we got him. That's so good. <laughs> Lordly Legionary, Corgan the Crowned, and that's what we're ending it on. Heals all weapons for 50% of the max HP and places a shield buff equal to 15%. Places a perfect veil buff and increase attack on. Allies whose attack is higher than their defense, block debuffs and increase defense for turns whose defense is higher than their attack. And Legionary, a lot of people hate him. I think he's alright. I don't know. Anyways, this has been the longest thing in existence. And I've loved every minute of it. <laughs> so I did six star my uh, Geomancer there, as you can see. So I'm going to... Um, um, oh shit, where am I going? I'm going to max him out in a bit. I've got so much leveling. I'm going to wait for a champion thing to do and level up so many. I've got so many guys to take six stars. So this is the legendaries we got. we got... Oh, no, what are you doing? Stop it. Bad Elkazar. It was a 10x. You wouldn't think it was. <laughs> but it is. I can't confirm. I got him twice. What are you doing? Thank you. Where's he gone? Yeah, not twice. I got him on both my accounts, which is just amazing so that's made my that's made my christmas that has we got glissia soul guide she looks cool is she good i don't know let me know helior one of the cooler looking shields in the game interested i'm probably going to max all these guys out sigmund high shield another really cool looking shield definitely going to max him out foley i'm going to max him out put him in savage and try him as my arena nuka maybe with uh magnar I'm not sure yet. Crypting Growl to go with my Geomancer with the HP burns. Eleonora, I'm not sure yet if she's going to be a max out or stay at 60. I'm not sure. We'll see. Another one. Uh, not another one. Norrog is another one who I'm not sure what I'll do with yet. Maybe I'll get him to 60 when there's an event on. I'm not sure. And Tatoya Rhymehide, uh, the Christmas Fusion, which I no longer have to even think about doing because I probably wouldn't have anyway, but definitely not doing it now okay so yeah there we go oh what a day i hope you guys all have good luck um yeah with your polls i uh, hope you all have a good christmas this is probably going to come out on boxing day so if you're all hanging out your asses you know fist bump because i will be too um hope you got what you asked for i hope you're all well and hope the family's all well and uh yeah, it's been a good one, guys. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. I keep teetering on the uh, should I make raid video stuff, and I just don't. Um, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, it's been your boy. I'm going to go and um, power level the shit out of all these guys. So, I Oh, no, hang on. Shit. It's a champion thing. I never, I never show these in the end. If I'm not top, it's clickbait. Champion chase. Oh, no wonder we've done them all. Oh, I'm top. 21k points. Let's go. Give me all them legendary books. There you go. It's been your boy. I'll catch you all whenever. <laughs>